Uh, apples are the biggest crop that you grow and I see that you've changed the way that you grow them with the newer planting. So tell us about what we, ha what we have here. So all the trees that we've planted the last couple of years, we, we've planted in you know, what I guess I would call a modified tall spindle system. It's a four wire trellis. Uh, there's no vertical support. We have primarily a 12 by three spacing. So that's about 1,250 trees an acre, give or take something like that. Um, we chose the system. It, it just seemed to be the easiest one to build and build it well. I felt like the ver you know, vertical support was gonna add more expense, more time. And I, I felt like if I needed to go back and add vertical support, I could always do it later. Um, and, and we are seeing on some varieties, some, some rootstock combinations, we probably are going to do that. Uh, Evercrisp on Bud 9 would be one that I really think needs a little bit of help. But these, you know, these ambrosias here, these are G41s and G11s that are, I think these are G41s. I think we got 935s over there. Uh, these obviously look like they're doing just fine without it. Um, we've kept that spacing pretty consistent through all this. And we, and we know that, you know, down the road we'll probably maybe regret some of the decisions that we made but just from a planting perspective just keeping that spacing consistent we feel like it's a great way to trial all these new rootstocks and we have bud nines out here as i said g41 g935s we have some g11s we have a few m9s but we've tried to stay away from them um, and i believe that is it we really like the g41s and the g935s uh, they're just they're just easy trees to grow. They just get going really quickly. Um, Bud nine has been a difficult tree for us to get to get to the top wire. It just is, it's, it's, as we know, it's not very vigorous, but we have some older honey crisp on Bud nine and they give us the prettiest apples on the farm every year. So what you lose in vigor, you know, I think you're gonna make up for in consistent yields and quality of the fruit. So we, we're excited about this. We actually, you know, obviously haven't gotten a harvest off of these trees yet. We'll probably, um, definitely look to hang fruit on them next year. We would have this year, but then we lost most of the apples with the frost event that we had. So maybe that's going to be a good thing in the long run. It gives us another year to focus on growing these and, and training them and um, just trying to, to start out as positive as we, as we can on them. Uh, tree training is something that we do a little bit of. We don't do a ton of it. Uh, probably not as much as a lot of the the academic world would, would recommend that we do. Um, and I'm interested to get, Peter, your opinions on that and what I, we I should be doing some, more of. I see some of these branches like this one where right. you tied down to the wire yep. and tied it down flat. And of course, if you managed to hang a few fruit on this year, if we hadn't been frosted, of right. course, then it, that would have helped with your tree training as well. Right. And so, you know, even one apple on this branch would have brought this down and it would have been great. Yep. Um, okay, that happened, nothing we can do about that. But I think this tying down is, um, you know, with a lot of these branches you've tied down to the wire is really going to help. Okay. And I, I guess kind of our tentative plan was to tie down in the first year or tie down in the second year if we're deciding to forego a crop in the second year. But then once we get to the point where we're going to start hanging apples, try to not be spending a lot of time tying the tree down at that point. And like you said, hopefully the apples will start to help you at that point. But I know there's a lot of growers that do a lot of tying down. They spend a lot of time and money doing it. And then I've talked to some growers who refuse to do it so and it may be variety variety uh, specific as well some, right. some may need it more than others but also i think with 1200 trees for the uh to the acre you can't afford to spend a lot of time on right. each tree tying branches down right um you know it's just very labor intensive so i think you're right once you start bearing then then use the crop load to do the job for you okay